What's up guys, Joel Valley from Media Glitch here and I'm here with a quick review of Metagale for the PS4 and the PS Vita. Now this game is a Mega Man clone, the story goes, um, some guy comes, kidnaps all your sisters, kidnaps your masters, you have to go and save them. I don't know if you were out for milk, what you were doing, but you come back, you find everyone's gone, you get a transmission, he tells you what you need to do and that is to go and save your sisters. So uh, the download of the game is really quick you could buy it and be playing in no time there's a lot of different language options so you have that at your disposal you also cut you just start with one ability you'll get more just like Mega Man when you defeat the bosses now the bosses are your sisters which is kind of crazy but it plays and it feels like a Mega Man game now the game is only $3.99 which is a heck of a deal because honestly for a Mega Man clone I feel like they did a pretty good job uh, it starts off very, very easy. In fact, you'll get a trophy telling you how easy it is. But as you go, the the, the levels get a little bit harder. Now, if you're a Mega Man um, fanatic, you're not going to find too much of a challenge here. But I feel like it's a good start. And, and for the price, you really can't go wrong. And after every, every boss you beat, of course, you get their powers. I loved uh, the character design. I actually like the graphics to the game is really good. Uh, I'll get into some stage problems, but there are a lot of things that definitely harken back to Mega Man, and it'll make you you'll be, feel at home. Basically, is what I'm saying here. Uh, the music is okay; it's nothing like amazing, but it, it's definitely very good. It keeps the action, the flow of the action feeling, and um, which I like a lot. There's also like these rebirth gears that you can use. That way, you don't have to start all the way at the beginning of the level which is kind of nice and you'll get trophies for that as well in fact uh, I got a platinum trophy probably within the first 10 minutes of this game it is insane in fact I had to go and check and make sure I was seeing things right and sure enough platinum so if anything you buy the game just to get a platinum trophy if that's if you're like a trophy hunter there are some parts of the game where I thought level design wise it was really it, they miss they miss the mark especially in stuff like this where they just okay if you got past that like I died the first time and you got to get past the second time it's not it's not clear like you can see this montage of me dying in this one certain part and I just it wasn't like it wasn't because of my lack of skills. I feel like they just missed the mark. I died 25 times in that part. And then, but there are things that they did that I really enjoyed about the game and some of the level things they did. But that being said, there there's quite a bit of content here for the price. You get a good number of levels, but here's the problem. Okay, with some of the levels, you do things, let's say, okay, I use my bombs to get up to that area. Now I kill all the guys, right? I'm getting to a certain spot. Now if you look at this little white thing there, you jump on it and you gotta ride it, but it'll blow up eventually. Okay, cool, all right, I get it. So let's do that again. We'll get to where we need to be. Come on, any moment now, there we go. And I ride it and I gotta jump off before it blows up. So I jump off before it blows up, but I miss my, I miss my jump. Okay, let's do it all over again, okay? Blah, 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 you get all the way up to where you gotta go, and guess what? That hasn't reset. And the only way to beat this part now is to die. And I feel like that's just, you know, that is probably one of the biggest issues that this game has is just thinking it through those, like the level design and how things need to go. Maybe it's lack of testing, maybe that's something they can fix in an update. Who knows, but I've, I figured if it isn't fixed by now, because I believe this came out in Steam quite a while ago, I don't know if it's ever going to get fixed. But all in all, I would say it's a decent, very decent Mega Man clone. One that I had fun with. One that wasn't too difficult, but will present a challenge for newcomers as well. I will add one more thing before I end this review. The PlayStation Vita version is not optimized well and the load times be every time you die and you die you're gonna die a lot in this game which makes it it slows down the pace but the load time is just it's terrible it's terrible and if you're gonna play any version of this play the ps4 the ps vita is 
almost unbearable sometimes even when you get in those later stages and you're dying all the time you're going to feel it so that is all guys let me know if you've seen this game and if you played it and what did you think um let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching the video and we'll see you next time bye bye